Alrighty guys, thank you for joining me back on our third episode of Eastside Hockey Manager with Columbus. I had some really good comments that I would like to go over before we jump into everything. Uh, I want to go over these comments, so we're going to jump right into them, not waste any more of your time. First, Dalton said, if you're ever struggling to trade someone, you can select offer to all on the player. You are trading, and it gives you a general idea of their value. Also, I suggest listening to your coach's suggestion on the trade you don't want to get fired. That is true. Uh, I will actually try and do uh, the uh, the suggestion about uh, trying to trade a player, and it gives you a general idea if you select offer to all on the player. I'm going to try that. Uh, thank you, Dalton, for the comment, Mr... Disco Cow says your lines are all over the place. You should review them player by player. If you want to coach yourself, also Trocheck is a decent third liner, but I put uh, Johansson, Dubinsky, and Nisimov before him on the center depth. So maybe put Trocheck as a winger and let I can't pronounce that name, but let him center the fourth line. I will keep that comment up, and I will try that actually. And another person suggested dropping Trocheck below taking him out of the top line and putting and also uh, putting Johansson we have uh, Johansson move him up drop Dubinsky a second line because of the growth uh, so I will go into at lines and we're going to review everything because you're right the we have to trade uh, Tutin I think and we have to trade him first and well even before that because it's going to take days to see if a team wants him so we do we do have to get that corrected uh, benjamin says don't undervalue picks they can be used to add trade value or season or season a deal i find they're very helpful because this game isn't like gm mode with star potential you never know what a player could turn out to be i think with the trocheck trade you could have gotten a third with it because the coach and the board was mad and the other team was very happy with it that is true that is true. The the board was a little upset about the trade. I don't know why, to be honest. It was great value. I thought it was great. Well, it wasn't great value, but for what we're giving up to what we're getting, I thought it was great. Um, oh, this gentleman, I cannot pronounce your name. I don't want to disrespect you, so I won't. He said, try to trade Tutin to Buffalo for Mark Pisek. I, I don't know how to pronounce that name. I apologize. Then sign a couple D-men from free agency that can transfer late in the season if you make the playoffs. That is true. I wish the transfer would be a little bit sooner, but that is true. Signing a D-man would be a good option. Sando Sparks says, Sully, you can use Spacebar to advance the sim when you're at the home screen. So we're actually going to try that. Let's try that theory out. The brother is right. Thank you for that tip. Uh, and then Kamrick says... I think you should bump Dubinsky down to the second line so Johansson can get first line. He is your future right now. That is very true. So I have seen all uh, most of your comments. I believe if I missed any, I apologized. Uh, best NHL gamer said first. So that's pretty much that. So let's go into the rosters, do a little bit more of a breakdown because we do want to get some substantial simming done, I would think, tonight. At, at least get through October, maybe November, but... Who knows? So I think first let's try and get a deal done for Tootin. We want to move Tootin. You know, that's what we've sort of been pushing for. Let's go front office. Let's go trade center. So Chris Coonan's actually got moved, which was pretty interesting. Pretty interesting trade. Who do we think would want a D man right now? Well, Edmonton would probably have to want a D man. I mean, they are they are hurting for a D man. Now let me actually see what this gentleman was saying if we put a player up what he will net so i think it was offer to all is that it what was he saying if you're you can select offer to all on the player you're trading and it gives you a general idea of their value submit the open trade offer to all teams in the league oh so i Okay, well, we're going to sit on that. I hope it... Uh, let's see. I hope it didn't... Oh, yeah, we get immediately back. All right, so that's nice. Oh, we got a bunch of trade. Okay, I see what he did. Okay, I didn't even know this. Thank you so much. Uh, Mark Viston. This... Oh, this 
Vicentin, Vicentin, I think that's how you say his name, and David Moss, 32, 800K. He's a winger. I, I would honestly, I like, I don't know, Mark is a great player, I think. I mean, he's 22. He Is he a, oh, he's a goalie. No, piss. We're not, we're not taking a goalie. Sorry, Coyotes. Um, David Jones, he's a winger. I mean, I guess they're going to give back a winger. I don't think... Oh, we got Zach Boychuk. Oh, he's a center. 25. Center, winger, do-it-all sort of type of player. Danny Bajee? I hope I said that right. 23. Right defense. Okay, here we go. 23. He's a young guy. Oh, man. that He has... He's decent. He he doesn't... His team works a little down. He doesn't have the best work rate. And he's nothing physical, but... His passing, positioning, he's decent, but I don't know. That looks like a decent trade. Let's see. A 2015 first-round pick. So the Wild are saying we'll, we'll give you a first-round pick. And then Kevin Pullen, he's a goalie. We don't really need goalies. I mean, we have Bobrovsky and a winger. He's contracted to the Islanders. This is actually a good little player. This guy, John... Preston looks like to be a decent player. So we're, we, from what it looked like, we're not really getting back the moon. We're not going to get back the moon. I do like, uh, you know, I think the Wild really don't have much to give with defense because we want something back. That's the thing. We want a little bit back. David Jones, uh, no, no. So we can respond. Oh, we don't even need to. We can reject with the flames. Um, you know, I sort of want to go to Arizona. I want to respond to Arizona because they're not going to give me much back, but I would like a little bit of a defenseman, you know, someone to fill that that roster spot. I like the player they're offering back, so we're going to see. I actually have to keep track of the recording time because I this – what I use to record doesn't actually keep track of that. It just tells me how much how much space it's taking. So I got to watch out for that. So David Reese, age 30. Nothing really special. Um, That would be a young prospect. And we really don't... Like I said, we really don't have time. We, yeah, we don't... They don't really have like... Arizona doesn't have that third star person that we can sort of get back uh the hurricanes look like they're let's respond let's see oh my gosh okay so carolina i think is sort of trying to like i think they're they're not trying to hoodwink us but let's see if we can get some defensemen that's what we need so let's go defensemen let's see the interest um i could go michael jordan at 24 his work rate's pretty good uh, I, they're already giving me Danny, Danny at 23 could be decent. I don't know. He's so young, but he can get better, but let's see what his stats are. Profile, profile, game log. Let's see. He's getting decent ice time. He's, but he's minus one, minus one, minus two. I don't know. Trying to move him. 38 i don't know i i just i don't know i mean i i don't know like i just don't know what we plan i just don't know the first round pick is nice but we're sort of not like uh, i would i would i would take the first round pick especially from the wild but it, they have to give me like I would take any defenseman that could play right now back. And if I if I can get a first round pick out of them, that's great. But I want someone serviceable to replace that roster spot. Um what is it? The player is tired. Twenty eight. This gentleman seems nice all around. I don't know, a first round pick and Nate? Twenty eight. I mean that uh, you're giving up a first, so I'll add in a pick. I'll add in like, oh, we're keeping Toronto second. Round. Anaheim's have to play pretty well, so we'll add in 
Let's gauge the interest. They'll need to take some time. If I can pull this deal off, I like this because Nate Prosser is a serviceable defenseman and he, he only has room to get better. And he has no red spots. His physical is not the fastest of guys on the ice and his stamina is low. Good teamwork, good uh, work rate, good teamwork. Not a lot of flair, nice determination. Offensively, he's pretty much middle of the road. I think he's serviceable. But at 28, he could see a bump. I don't know how the progression works in this game. But either way, that first round pick will go for a defenseman. So we're going to offer this. And Fedora Tutin, he's solid all around. But again, it's that huge contract at 4.5. So we're going to offer this. We're going to offer this. Oh, we're also, ooh, hold on. Well, I did, and good thing you guys pointed this out to me. It says, I think this is a really bad deal for us. I'm especially concerned about the financial effects of this deal. I'd also like to point out we are currently operating below the league salary floor. So we're below league salary, but here's the thing. There are better defensemen, I would say, we can sign right now in free agency. That we can sign like one-year deals. That we can, that can, bolster us back up and we, we are gonna have to lock up some young talent for some money so i'm willing to offer this trade uh not good enough to suit their needs okay i don't we we went to the wild so i no we're gonna cancel that deal been rejected so i think we can move on but have rejected the proposed trade with the columbus J blue jackets they felt the deal was not good enough to suit their needs i don't want to i want to cancel why isn't this okay the new york islanders are willing to offer oh no we've been through that no respond we can reject yes um new hammond we, we don't need a goalie i i don't understand why they're offering let's see what eric condra no he's a winger i don't i don't get why they're offering me a goalie when we have sir we have bobrovsky why would we need a goalie i don't i don't get that um, what do we have left? Uh, Pittsburgh's in the mix, eh? Oh, no. They're not even going to give me a first round pick. No, why would I take that? All right, so I think we're good. Uh, so right now, let's go to the roster because the roster apparently is, is a big deal. It's a big deal. Oh, my gosh. Look at this guy. He's a defenseman. He has no creativity. He's decent. But all right, let's go to tactics. All right, let's ask the coach. All right. So someone was saying, where is Anisimov? I don't even. All right, Anisimov, let's check his stats. Faceoffs are at 14, solid player. We'll throw, who's it? Felino, Felino's rocking the third line center right now. Let's check Felino. Okay, we'll, let's throw Felino on the wing. At, and especially. If we're gonna if we're gonna put Atkinson on the first line, I'm thinking put Felino or Morin. Where's Atkinson? If Atkinson's playing wing, let's see where Morin is. Morin, where are you, bro? Oh yeah. All right. Let's let's bump a Felino and let's check his. He's shooting left. Yeah. He he can Felino can bump. Trotrek, uh, well now Anisimov dropped to fourth line. Okay, no, Anisimov can play, where's this guy, Anisimov can play, uh, third line, let's check Jenner, Jenner's all right out of third liner, Trop, check Trop, 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 all right, Trotrek can drop, Trochak can switch with Trop. 
So let's go char check, char check. Put him on the wing and let's check. Where is he? Where is he? Two. All right, he's not playing center. And I don't think Trop is a good center either. Trop has about eight face offs. No. Where's. Um, okay. So this is what I'm thinking right now. I don't like Trop as a fourth line center because his face offs are eight. We're practically not even playing with a center. And I don't think anyone even meets that that need. I wish you could list these alphabetically. I, I really do. Calvert, Calvert, Calvert. Eight. Does he beat it? Nope. Eight. And then Letets. Oh, his face off is fifteen. Oh my gosh, I didn't even see that. Okay. Alright, so we're not where where is he? Okay. We'll switch him with Trop. Okay. So I think I think Oh, we got to switch uh, Johansson and Dubinsky. So now I think we can leave it like this, except that for power plays now, we can roll. Oh, we got to fix all this stuff. Uh, Anisimov can jump, all, jump up on the wing. I'll have... Who's going to play Hartnell? Uh, and Atkinson can play on the left for this five on three. Where is it? Atkinson, Atkinson. Why, why, why? Atkinson, bam. So now we can just Dubinsky. And actually, let's throw Felino up on that. Where is he? Where is he? Gosh, man. Is this. There's like no science to this. It's just all over the place. Felino. Morin. We'll do Hartnell. Oh, Hartnell's on the first. Dubinsky. Trop. We don't want Trop. Who do we want? Warren, Dubinsky, Hartnell, Felino, Atkinson. That's who we want. Atkinson, where are you? Where are you, bro? All right. I think that's okay for right now. Defensive pairing. Uh... Oh my gosh, this gentleman. Cody is not good. We're going to drop Cody. Where's Tootin? For now, Tootin will play first line minutes. There's no reason why. Uh, Savard. Let's see if Savard should switch. Savard, Savard, Savard. Where are you at? Savard. Oh, yeah. Let's let's bump up Savard. And then if we lose, if we lose Tootin, it is going to be a setback. But I think we'll be all right. So we're going to leave it right now. And we're gonna sim. We're gonna get some simming done, boys. At least, hopefully, we won this third game of the season. Uh, the goal is to try and get through. Try and get through in a couple of months. I don't know if we'll get to it. One four to two. Let's see who scored briefly. We had Morin, Hartnell, Morin, Atkinson. If I'm pronouncing these names wrong, I apologize. Please, please let me know so I can uh, pronounce these names correctly. So it helps you guys, uh, you know, listen better. And it, it uh, gives you guys a more enjoyable listening experience. This is a left defenseman, 24. He's actually pretty, he seems pretty good. What's his contract? Just under a mil. Needs a qualifying offer. I don't know. You know, we need to check. We, need, we do need to check free agency. But I want to see about this trade that we offered for Fedora Tudin. I want to know what's going to happen to him. Is he going to get moved? Is he not? If he does, it's been rejected. Okay, so it's been rejected. I really like this deal. This offer was not good enough to suit their needs. All right, let's go back. This offer is good. I'm going to add a draft pick. I'm going to give Detroit's third round. I'm going to give Detroit's third round because I I want that first round pick and I think Nate is good enough for this year. I do. And if not, he's going to be serviceable in the farm system and we can try and go out in free agency and really get get that first line D for Jack Johnson because what we've seen from the league is 
because of the offer to all, we didn't get much back. This, that first round pick is probably the highest, I think, in value that we'll get. So we're going to offer. We had a third round pick. We'll sit on that. We'll sit on that. No game, I don't think, tonight. So we're continuing. Let's actually just go to, you know what, let's just go. Uh, okay, we have a game tomorrow, so it's not that big of a deal. Play Calgary. Don't know if it's on the road or not. Need to check the colors. Uh, let me know about the sim speed, guys. I don't know if I should go on vacation sometimes in the next game. I honestly don't. Let me know. And we beat the Flames. So now we're on a two-game winning streak. We won uh, two goals in the third period, a little bit of a surge. And we have Morn again, Hartnell coming up big. Oh, and then we won the shootout. Okay. But two goals in the third to tie. So a nice little shootout win for the boys. And the trade is to take place. Is that right? It's been accepted, so we did get that. We're giving up Fedor Tutin, a second and a third, for Nate and a first. I wonder how you guys think about that. Uh, the contract is so big, man. I mean, 4.5 at 31. I mean, I'm sort of getting cold feet because I... I oh, man, I'm getting cold feet about this trade now. He's... This year, next year, the year after. So he's signed till he's like, where are we looking at? This is like, what year does this take place? 14 to 15? Oh, I can just check it right there. I'm such an idiot. Let's go for Tutin. Contract. 14 to 15. So he's not going to be up for, till he's like 36 at 4.5. He has to start declining. He's past his prime. I think a first round pick would help us get younger on defense. Oh, let me know what you guys think about this trade. I I want to say it's a good deal. A first round pick. And we're getting Nate. It's not a lot. Oh, I'm getting I'm getting cold feet. I don't I don't know what to do. Can I let me oh I can't. Um Should I should I try and win now? Should I, I don't know if I should try and win now and sort of like, should I try and win now, bring in a stud on defense, but even our wingers aren't good. Like, even our wingers aren't what they are. So I don't know really what to do, what to gauge. I'm going to delay, sit on it a little bit. I just, I don't know what to do. We're also going to go check the free agency pool. Right now we're seventh. We're a little bit above Pittsburgh, which I can't imagine that staying very long. Um, so we play the Senators tonight in Ottawa. Let's briefly check. What are we looking at for free agents? I mean, let's just, let's just see. Notable. I mean, let's just, let's just see what we're looking at for defense. I mean, let's just see. So we're going to check, go over to the pages. Uh, the reason why I'm going by the pages is because when I go to like filter defense, it filters me to every defense in the league. It I don't know why it so I don't know how that works, but we're gonna try and get to defense. Actually, you know what? Just forget it. We're just gonna go to. All right, we're gonna go very good. We're gonna try and find a defenseman from Russia, Ryan Whitney. He's 31. Debatable. Mike London, he's 30. I don't think we're going to get youth out of this. Uh, 30, 30, 20 left defenseman. We really need a right defenseman, to be honest. Six foot two. We're going to look at Matt Gilroy. Matt Gilroy looks really solid. Uh, he has a decent slap shot. His positioning is a little weak at nine. It could be better, but I mean, look at all that green. Good mix of speed, stamina, and strength. Let's approach to sign him. Let's approach to sign. Uh, he's going to be a core player. Uh, he's not going to be a key player. Wow. Seriously? Contract expires. Okay, so he, he would like a 2. Well, he would like a... I mean, we'll go 1.5. I mean, we'll all, wait a minute, how old is he? 
He's 30. I mean... You see, that seems like a really decent player. We're going to go Mike. Oh, Mike's more our speed, though. He's more offense. He can move the puck. Oh, let's let's approach Mike on right defense. Approach to sign. Uh, yeah, he will be a key player. He would be a power play beast. So at 30, he's looking for a little bit more. He wants like a five-year deal. But I'll still go 2.8. And at 2.8... We could still move him with that type of contract. I mean, he doesn't want much, so I'm going to offer that to Mike. Even at 30, he's really good right now. At 2.8, he's so cheap. I mean, you could sort of you could sort of move him, I feel like. so. But there's not much, unless I'm missing someone. I feel like the best guy out there is Kevin Dahlman. He's good. But there's nothing that's like lights out, at least that I see. 20 left defenseman, Matt from Portland. Really? His reputation is very good. Um, like I said, I can go to view defensemen. Oh, notable and available players. Oh. No, it, do it doesn't even go through that. Like I said, it says Shea Weber, Duncan Keith, Zdeno Chara. So I, if you guys can let me know. How to fix that? That'd be great. Um, so we're gonna sim. We're gonna sim ahead. And see, I don't think we had a game tonight. Oh, we did. We beat the Senators. So again, we're moving along really nicely. Four to one. Four three. We came back down three one in the first. Ripped open two goals and tallied one in. Jenner, Johnson, or Johnson, Johnson. And then we had Felino Johnson. Felino had a point and a goal tonight, or a goal and assist. Johnson, wow, tallies two goals. I see that. So Jack Johnson's playing really well so far. How do, I don't know how you guys like the uh, speed at which I'm simulating. I don't. I, it's so hard because it's not like Chell where they go through game by game, so you really can't get a progress of how we're doing. And so I don't know what the best way to simulate this is. So let me know if you guys like this. Uh, and also, what's nice is that you can sort of see where we stand um, in the playoffs in the bottom. So right now we're fourth in the league which is pretty amazing um and i'm sure anisimov resumes practice so apparently he was oh he was injured so we've been fined 71k because they're so low and i don't know if we ever heard back from the wild about fedora tutin we delayed it so we're still waiting on that I didn't reject it, so all I did was delay it because I was a little bit nervous. Kessler's been banned for one game. No game tonight. At least I don't think so. It would pop up there immediately. We're going to try and keep moving. Injuries are on, so let's go McKinnon and Kessler. So let's actually... Actually, I don't know if I should go on vacation because they may reject that trade. Moen on the oh he doesn't matter. Okay. Maybe we can go to front office GM options. Here we go. Coach can you, Oh it doesn't go on vac let's see, vacation. Here we go. Set to handle play did not change. Set who to make offer. Okay, we're gonna go to the next game. So everything worked out on simming. I didn't want them to reject that trade because I think I will take that trade for Fedor Tutin. Let's check. Wow, so I delayed it, but I didn't say no, so I don't know what could be the problem. Let's see if we win. Oh, no. Oh, we did lose the Sharks 1 0. We lost in the third. Was it a overtime game? Nope. Wingles. Wow. Or no, it wasn't Wingles. It was. Ooh, I will not pronounce that for the sake. I want to say. Uh, it reminds me of Game of Thrones. Okay, the Blue Jacket. So. The transfer of Mike London did go through, so we will have him. Like I said, I think he's a great signing. Uh, please don't be for the Blue Jackets. Oh, I think it is. He's out for three weeks. Oh, no, he's not. I don't know what I'm saying. Uh, Team Canada to appoint general manager. Uh, yes, we will sign him. 
So that's good. He'll come on. Hopefully he will come on the cap. I don't know when. But I'm a little bit nervous about the move for Fedora. I, I delayed it, but I didn't. Del I don't know if it's on the table or if it's not on the table. We beat Anaheim. What is the deal going on? Win streak. More and Atkinson. More and again, Dubinsky putting in work. I mean, look at Atkinson. He had a goal, an assist. Morin's quietly putting in quite a night, I feel like. He's he's a point per game player. And wow. So I don't I don't know what's in the Kool-Aid in Columbus. Campbell on the move. Great Campbell is on the block. Okay, so here's the trade. This is it. I I listen, I don't know what to do with this team. I honestly don't. I I don't know, guys. Um Man, I wish I was live streaming this. I don't know. I, I feel like this is a good deal for us. We're getting London to come in around April. I I just think at 4.5, we can sign better in these stats, in the technical. In mental, he's great. In physical, he's all right. But he's I, it's already starting to just dip off with his speed at 12 you're going to start to see that decrease year in year out and you still have him for one two three three more years at 4.5 and you get a first round pick from minnesota they get better and nate prosser can be serviceable at 28 and he's very cheap he's serviceable he's not excellent by any means i'm going to take the trade I actually I'm gonna delay. I'm gonna delay it. I want to delay it until the next episode because canceled the proposed trade. Oh, Minnesota Wild canceled the trade. All right, I'm gonna hold off. Uh, you know, maybe now that we're doing so well, I didn't honestly expect us to do so well. Maybe sort of hold off and see where we're at closer to the trade deadline, but. I just feel like we have to move him, but is a first round and what I had enough? Please let me know, guys, because I honestly don't know. We're going to try and get through the end of October. We're moving at snail's pace. I'm sorry, uh, but what can you do? Jets to offer. Hold on. We have some players up. Because anyone who's a defense, I think we could take a look at signing because we're so, we're so low. Like this player at 38, we could easily claim him. He's not. He's balanced. He doesn't have a lot of speed, but he can shoot the puck. And look at all. I I say claim him. We claim him from waivers. I mean, why wouldn't we claim claim him from uh, waivers? And then we looked at Wolski. Wolski. Uh, I I I don't know if we're gonna make a move on him at twenty. I I don't know. Wait. I don't. I I want to say no. Blue Jackets and Kings. Great matchup. Great matchup. Let's see who wins. Oh, and the Blue Jackets take it. Who steps up? Felino. Felino. More and more. And again, and Hartnell quietly having quite the season with the assists. So we're going to try and push through. We're really going to try and push through. Let's see when the next game is. We can go on vacation, sort of speed some time. Uh, Sally for. Yeah, we're getting another fine by the league. Uh, we got to. Let's look at how low we are. So, wow, we are seriously low <laughs> below the uh, the waivers. That's why I'm trying to cl claim players. You know, add add some money. We may take on a monster contract. I honestly don't know what to do with that salary issue. Playing Ottawa again the next night so we won't go on vacation. I'm a little nervous because I want to keep simming like this because I don't know if going on vacation is going to force the AI to sort of up that that uh that uh what's it, what's it called that um if it's going to make a move to get us within salary cap compliance so I don't want to do that incomplete oh no so let's we're incomplete with the roster let's sort of check this out tactics Tactics, GM, no, no, come on, Sully. Tactics, who's out right now? 
Who who's out? Oh, let's sign him. Uh, this player is back. Uh, Sheldon is a we. All right, so we have him, Sheldon. We have to set his term. He's definitely a. Uh, I would say this player is a core player. Uh, he's not untouchable. He is available. Yeah, I would say he's available. Uh, we'll dress him. We'll leave. Who do I not like? Who's that third liner who is just trash? We'll scratch him. All right, and we'll go to tactics. We'll ask coach. And then we should be good. Confirm. Your roster is incomplete. What is incomplete about my roster, though? Let's go to forwards. Oh, is Jared Bull? Jared Bull and Jack Skill. I guess we'll play Jack. Go to Tactics. Oh, we have 24 players on our roster. Oh, that's the problem. That's the problem. Um, That's what it is. Okay, so we'll send... Can we send him down? Send him down? Nope. Can we send Jared Bull down? Can we send Jared Bull down? Let's see, let's see. Place on, I may just place him on waivers, to be honest. I I don't know, we'll place him on waivers. So we'll place him on waivers. We'll... I, don't, I don't know what the AI is gonna do. I don't know. We'll just, we'll, we gotta keep going at this point. We gotta keep going. We win 5 to 1. Alright, so let's see what the AI did. I just wanted to get through it. I, I just wanted to get through that move. We're gonna go. Oh, they put him on the block? No, oh, I, I take him off the block. See, that's why I don't want the AI to. That's why I don't like the computer to mess with it. Stray is on the move. 